from the next issue podcast. Uh, this video is a review of Dark Cold Alpha number one. This is a comic published by Marvel Comics, and it is written by Steve Orlando, uh, art by C.N. Torme, colors by Jesus Avurtov, and letters by Clayton Cowles. Um, so this is an event that I believe it was put on hold for a little bit. Uh, so it may not completely fit on, into like the continuity of what you think has been going on, but uh, as an ancient evil is awakened deep within the earth, um, it calls out to Scarlet Witch, which is uh, Wanda Maximoff, and she realizes that she's not the only sorcerer sorceress that is entangled with the coming fight. Uh, so it seems that the awakening was not accidental. And as you can see from the cover, uh, this whole central thing kind of revolves around Dr. Doom. So obviously Doom is up to no good. Uh, Doom is the one that went and like dug out the, the dark home from, from this... Uh, place where it was found um now this book in the story they give you a pretty pretty clear idea that it was sealed to lock like this really big evil away um and i love here there's a few panels let me show you guys uh we have this big evil that reaches out to wanda in a kind of like a nightmare uh and it's not nightmare it's <laughs> Uh, but it was in there through a true a, like so we don't know if this is like a flashback or a flash forward or just a premonition or just a dream that Wanda's having. But we do know that uh, I believe it's pronounced the god uh, Cthon, uh that was sealed with the with the dark hole. Uh, Doom believes that he can destroy it because Doom he feels like he's superior to everything that's going on. Um, uh, as you can see on the art, like, it's pretty grim. Like, uh, here, let me pull it back up. Like, this is Franklin Richards. He looks like he's all messed up, but he's probably possessed by this big evil. Um, we have something's happening to Steve Rogers. The Hulk's being overwhelmed by demons or creatures or whatever, servants of uh, Cthum. Uh, so, yeah, the Avengers are not having a good time in this uh, premonition or this dream, whatever it may be. So, so Wanda right now is at odds with Dr. Doom, uh, which it's the bulk of the issue, like them to uh, trying to figure out why, like Dr. Doom wants to take on this entity while Wanda knows that it's very dangerous, especially because of the premonition that she had. So I think I love the art here. It really, um, like it just puts it in your face how, how what the conflict is going on. Uh, Doom, very stoic. Wanda, very passionate as always uh, with her argument because she knows the big evil and what it could do, right? Um, so very excited for that. Uh, I really love Doom. He's one of my favorite. He's probably, I would say he's my favorite villain, maybe next to Magneto uh, on the Marvel Universe. Um, but as always, this is a Marvel book and we have to put a team together because that's how you defe defeat the, the big evil in a prophecy. So we have this really cool team uh, comprised of Iron Man, Blade, Wasp, Black Bolt, who we had not seen, and at least I hadn't seen Black Bolt in a little while, uh, because Inhumans are not really in the forefront of uh, of the comics right now. And of course, Spider Man, because Spider Man, when you need a fool, you bring Spider Man. Uh, so uh, this is a very good setup, I think. Uh, so it's interesting because this won't be released. Like this isn't a mini series or anything, but as we can see in the back, they give you kind of like a reading order. It's going to be a series of one shots ending with the Dark Hold Omega. So we have this Dark Hold Alpha, then we'll have an issue for Iron Man, Blade, the Wasp, Black Bolt, Spider Man, and then release, uh, and then the Omega, which we'll seal everything. So I'm looking forward to see if each of these stories are going to be done from the point of view of the title character in the one shot. Um, this one kind of was, I would say, from the point of view of Doom and Scarlet Witch, I think they were the main protagonists here. But now that the team's together, uh, I'm also intrigued to see if this whole team will stay together, like the art team uh, will be the same. I know Steve Orlando's writing the whole thing. Uh, so I'm interested in that. And interested in seeing more of what this big threat is. I'm not familiar with uh, with Cthum. I had to, I don't even know if that's how you say Cthon. Cthon maybe? Uh, yeah, these other gods, I'm not very familiar with the Marvel Mystic. Um, and I also feel like Dark Hole has never been something that has been explored in a while. Like, 
between that and the Necronomicon, I get kind of confused as to which ones where. I know the Darkhold was a big thing for uh, uh, slight spoilers. Uh, <laughs> WandaVision. Um, so if you watch the TV show, you're kind of familiar with the book. Uh, it also appeared in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, you know, it's very interesting that they're bringing it back and that they're letting Doom, which a lot of times Doom stories don't focus on, on the myth. Like, he is a practitioner of the mystic arts and a very good one. I would say he's not on par with the with uh, Doctor Strange, but I think, you know, he'll give him a run for his money. Uh, so that, I think that's what the edge that Doom has over uh, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. That although even though Reed is only like a science dude, um, like they kind of say in the Marvel Universe and the MCU with movies, uh, magic is just science that we don't really understand. Uh, and I think that's the way Doom approaches that. So I always love to see that in the comics. Uh, there's been kind of a Doom renaissance ever since uh, Christopher Campbell did a miniseries a couple of uh, maybe a year ago or two years ago, maybe now with the, with the whole big break for the pandemic. Uh, so, yeah, go check that out. More Doom stories. We want Doom. I think that's the main thing. But, yeah, uh, I think this is going to be fun. Like I said, it's a very low barrier of entry, very friendly to new readers. Everything you need to know is set up in this comic. Um, and there's, there's like, one editor's note that tells you to go read a Young Avengers story, which you should. I think it's really good. Um, I think it's called The Children's Crusade. And big thing about Wanda, and it actually inspired a lot of the show. Um, at least some of the characters come from there for, for the TV show. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you thought of this this uh, comic. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would recommend you kind of keep going. Uh, I may read it all at the end together. So I'll just buy the individual one-shots and go back and read it once it's all done. So but let me know what you think. Let me know what else you're reading from Marvel, DC, Independent. I don't think we had a DC review this week, but we had some other reviews. And we'll have more stuff throughout the week. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, in October, we're doing horror stuff, uh, comics, TV shows, uh, and also check out the check out our Patreon. There's a link on the description. Uh, patrons get a little bit of input in our live shows. Um, they get videos early, so if you're a patron, you may be watching this early before we release it uh, public to the channel. So yeah, you get a little bit of a little a few perks. Uh, for, helping, for helping us put this together. So we appreciate that. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.